The last group of those Acklands Island residents evacuated prior to Hurricane Irma have returned home. They left on a special charter this morning. Kalapama was at the airport with them prior to them boarding the flight. Housed at the Kendall Isaacs Gymnasium for more than a week, the Acklands Island evacuees had their bags packed from as early as 8.30 a.m. Monday to return home. Approximately an hour later, the group of some 100, including children, had boarded buses en route to Linden Pinling International Airport. Relatives, Katrina and Jackie Rose, spoke with us before boarding the Flamingo Air Charter shortly before 11 a.m. While both were ready to go home, they expressed some uncertainty. I'm excited but still depressed because I am not sure where I'm going to stay. I go home, I go home still. I don't know, do not know what to expect. But, you know, that's home. I'll try to make the best of it, out of it, where me and my children can try to work and, you know, to get ourselves comfortable. Director of the National Emergency Management Agency, Captain Stephen Russell, alleviated some of their concerns. I know it's been a bit rough, but we're not going to abandon you. We're here to see you, okay? Captain Russell told our news team that preparations have been made for the residents' arrival on Acklands. The administrator, he and his team, the council, should be um, in position to receive them and eventually um, transport them down to the district, um, some almost 40 miles to Salina Point, from Spring Point Airport, and again allow them to see the condition of their home and where there are challenges. Some shelters are uh, prepared um, in, in the nearby in their areas to accommodate those persons who need to be um, further accommodated until um, they can get some repairs done to their homes. Captain Russell said by Tuesday, teams from both the Ministry of Works and the Social Services will travel to Acklands to conduct a needs assessment evaluation exercise. He also revealed details of the restoration efforts currently in progress. 80% of the electricity has been restored to the communities. And there is a challenge of water, so we'll see how we'll address those matters during the week ahead. Tonight, all of those evacuated residents are back home on the island of Acklands. Exactly whatever it is they now face is uncertain. However, ZNS News will continue to follow this developing story. Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News.